Hello there friends, welcome back to your favorite channel, where we bring you trending and interesting news from around the world. May I quickly encourage you to subscribe to this channel if you are yet to subscribe. Kindly hit the bell icon so you can get notification whenever we post new stories. Endeavor to share these new stories with your friends, family, relations and loved ones so they can get to know what is happening around the world and be informed. Thank you so much guys, I appreciate your support. Anambra State President of Ohaneze Ndigo, Chief Demian Okeke Ogene, has called on the federal government to remove the terrorist label on the indigenous people of Biafra, IPOP, because he argued the organization does not threaten lives and property. He described as unfortunate and unacceptable the declaration of IPOP as a terrorist organization. While other agitating groups, especially in the northern part of Nigeria, that specialize in kidnapping and killing of innocent Nigerians on a daily basis, were moving freely without trial and persecution. Okeke Ogene, who is aspiring for the position of the National Vice President of Ohanese in the election slated for January 2021, said, it was unfortunate that a group that does not carry arms could be labeled terrorists. He wondered why the federal government has refused to prosecute the Fulani headsmen Bandits and other dangerous groups responsible for the kidnapping and killings going on in the northern part of Nigeria. He said, Have you ever heard that IPOP kidnapped or killed anybody unjustly? Why should the government go to court within 24 hours after a misunderstanding between Operation Python Dance 2 of the Nigerian Army and IPOP. Without a proper investigation and declared the group a terrorist organization. While those with intention of tarnishing the image of the country before the international community are operating freely in the society without any government action. The federal government was totally wrong in declaring IPOP a terrorist organization. According to him, IPOP is a group of young men of evil extraction that do assemble when the need arises to deliberate on issues affecting the, their welfare and the region as enshrined in the constitution of Nigeria. I think that what we should do as one people is for us to continue to pray and work together to ensure that the current security challenges tormenting the country comes to an end. And not to tag a particular group in a region that happens to be the safest region in Nigeria as terrorist organization. Okeke Ogene said. He, however, commended the effort of the Katsina State Governor, Aminu Bello Masari, and the security agencies on the safe rescue of the abducted school children of Government Science Secondary School, Kankara, and urged the security agencies and other authorities to also checkmate the activities of the Niger Republic and Lake Chad immigrants. It is what it is, guys. What are your thoughts concerning this particular news story as it were? A lot of people have actually taken this position to call on the federal government to remove the terrorist tag on the IPOB. affirming and opining that IPOB is not a terrorist organization. And truly, IPOB 
should not be labeled a terrorist organization because they have not done or carried out any activity that portrays them to be uh, terrorists. They also have not even committed one quarter or an inch of what um, the Fulani headsmen and other extremists and BH guys have committed. So the question is, why is IPOP ta being tagged a terrorist organization? If it is not political, then somehow it has to be as a result of hatred towards the people of the Southeast. I stand to be corrected if I'm wrong. This is just an opinion. Namdekanu's expression and claims as a result of the marginalization of the people of the Southeast and the president should understand that nobody will be marginalized or oppressed as the case may be and would keep silent. Aside proscribing IPOP as a terrorist organization, there are several other avenues, means that the president and this administration could have explored to address the issue that borders the people of the Southeast and that the Namdekano led IPOP has been championing. But for reasons best known to the government, they decided to take the route that they took. But however, it is sad and unfortunate that it is what it is, that the government eventually proscribed IPOP as a terrorist organization, despite the fact that the activities does not in any way relate to that of any terrorist activities. This is sad and unfortunate and should not be encouraged or should not be accepted. Well, the Anambra State President of Ohaneze Indigo, Chief Damian Okeke Ogene, or Ogene, has called on the federal government to remove the terrorist label on the indigenous people of Biafra. This is a welcome development and if much more Southeasterners can come out and uh, champion this cause, it's going to speak well of the people of the Southeast because the activities of the IPOP has nothing to do with terrorism and is in no way close to or related to the activities of terror in the country or wherever, anywhere in the world. It is sad and unfortunate, but we keep our fingers crossed to see how things unfold on this particular news story as it were. What are your thoughts, guys, concerning this act uh, activity or this particular news story? Will this administration pay attention and listen to the yearnings of the people of the Southeast for IPOP to be deproscribed? Well, it remains to be seen. Well, drop by at the comment section, let us know what your thoughts are. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Kindly hit the bell icon so you can get notification whenever we post news stories. Share these news stories with your friends, family, relations, and loved ones so they can get to know what is happening around the world and be informed. Thank you so much, guys. I appreciate your support, and I'll see you on the other news. Thank you, and bye for now.